Uh, April 11th, 2018, meeting of the Planning and Zoning Commission is called to order. Um, we have several absences tonight. Uh, are we expecting anybody late, or is this going to be a... <coughs> well, so we do have a quorum, at least. Uh, just barely. Um, reading of the minutes, uh, we have a motion. Second. All in favor? Opposed? <clears throat> reports. Uh, reports from the commissioners? No, I don't have uh -huh. I have none either. Um, staff reports? Development services? Um, yes, sir. Um, for the purposes of the minutes and also for the um, commissioners, we wanted to report that at the release of the agenda and distribution, we made some uh, minor e edits on the um, plats and replats that you have before you this evening. The changes were all just coordination changes in which we had to go back in and um, discover that a number of the issues had been addressed, so um, those were deleted with some minor variations, so nothing um, substantive um, regarding those changes, but we wanted to uh, make you aware and also that the revised reports have been presented um, to you all as well for your consideration for all of the items. And also under staff um, presentation, um, this marks a uh, milestone in history regarding fair housing. We do have um, staff members here that um, are happy to celebrate uh, 50 years of fair housing um, regarding the Fair Housing Act adoption by the federal government um, for what we do as a community in terms of providing um, fair housing opportunity situations as we look at our zoning code. Uh, we evaluate um, all ordinances within the city limits regarding how we conduct ourselves as it relates to affecting communities at large from a housing perspective. So. Um, Latoya Ricketts from Community Development is just going to um, bring an acknowledgement um, for fair housing before the commission. And then we also have something special for everyone in the room as well. Thank you. Good evening, commissioners. Um, as Otis stated, this year marks the 50th anniversary of the National Fair Housing Act. Um, that act um, was passed and um, the purpose of it is to eliminate and assess um, fair housing for everyone, that all individuals will have the opportunity to live free, meaning live wherever they want, to be able to be free from discrimination um, based on regardless of their race, their color, their religion, their national origin, their sex, their familiar status, which means if they have children or not their disability. They will all have the access to live in neighborhoods um, where they choose to live and work um, and play. Um, this year also marks the 50th anniversary of the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King and in his fight for freedom was to eliminate housing discriminations and to create opportunities for everyone in our community. So we just wanted to commemorate that tonight um, to let you know a little bit about fair housing. Um, it's the title um, nine, I'm sorry, eight act of the civil rights of 1968. And it was also through the department of HUD urban housing and urban development and, and where they insist that at least two million individuals may be affected by housing discrimination um, over the course of the, the years. So 2% of that um, is because of rental, rental disfraudization or um, home buyer discrimination. So we want to make everybody aware of the um, illegal acts under the fair housing to prevent those type of discrimination. It is against um, the law or policy to discriminate because of um, individuals are renting an apartment or a house in mortgage lending and practices, in homeowners insurance operations, as well as real estate sales. Um, it is just reminded that, you know, this act does relate to our local officials um, like yourself who enact laws and policies and in, in strict um, land use ordinances, development, building codes, um, and policies, so we must ensure to be reminded of the Fair Housing Act when doing so. 
um, as well as homeowners association, utility districts, landlords, real estate brokers, um, mortgage companies, they are also to participate in the fur effectively furthering fair housing. Um, some uh, examples of discrimination on the fair housing is refusal to rent or sell to anyone because of those particular um, classes, the refusal to negotiate for housing, making housing unavailable, um, settling different terms uh, for the sale of properties, um, also with rental for homes for profit, denying access to members in any facility uh, for housing or any type of public facility is against the Fair Housing Act. So in a further in fair housing, one thing we want to be ensured to maintain is that we're maintaining implementing fair housing plan, which the city is actually undergoing our impediment to fair housing in which we have hired a consultant and we are completing that plan. We do have a draft that will be made available to the public very soon. Um, also to us in establishing fair housing ordinances in reviewing local code of ordinances, in reviewing, investigating, or forwarding any complaints to HUD or other fair housing agencies in which um, the city of Houston has their own fair housing ordinance. So if you feel that anyone of your neighbors or friends or anyone you know are being discriminated because of um, their protect those protective classes, they can report those complaints. Um, and also ensuring in our housing rehabilitation pro program in which the city operates that we're fair and equal to all residents. As well as education um, in platforms just like this that we're educating the public on fair housing and issues that may arise. So the city also incorporate affirmative fair housing in our comprehensive plan, in our consolidated plan, in our fair housing study that we're completing, as well as periodic presentation and public hearing that we may do. And we have informational brochures and information for the public to be aware of. Mm -hmm. um, so here are some resources. Um, there is a great video um, that was put together by Mr. Michael Allen on fair housing in the 50th year commemoration of that, um, in which he talked in detail about the disparities that happens in our community and how it is affecting our society today. So that is all on fair housing. And if you have any questions, I'll be happy to address any issues. I would say that um, the city, because it uh, does receive federal funding, which is DOT, DOJ, um, CDBG, we are required to um, comply with the Fair Housing Act. Our mayor did uh, present a proclamation at the April um, meeting in which the city is further in fair housing. Thank you. Have a good night. Mr. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, Otis, is that? That concludes my uh, report. Okay. Uh, uh, so, so, further reports, uh, Engineering Department. Good evening, Commissioners. Uh, uh, the Assistant City Engineer Jennifer Hobbs uh, is in a training class. She's uh, training to be a certified uh, floodplain manager. Hopefully, she'll come back uh, next time with a CFM title. So, I'm here uh, in her absence. Uh, uh, I don't have anything else to report. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> Moving on, uh, public comment. This is an opportunity <laughs> for the public to address uh, the Planning and Zoning Commission on any items that are not on our agenda tonight. Uh, seeing no one, uh, we'll move on. Item six, plats, the consent agenda. Item one, consider approval of preliminary plat for Jaffrey Enterprises, Missouri City. Item two, consider approval of a preliminary plat for Parks Edge, Section 5. Item three, consider approval of a preliminary plat for MAA development. Number four, consider approval of a final plat for Calvary Indian Fellowship Church. I think that was it. Um, any uh, discussion? Uh, do I have a motion? Second. All in favor? Opposed? Motion passes. <clears throat> Moving on, uh, 
Item B, public hearing for con and consideration of DSM addition being partial replat of South Main Gardens. everyone. This is a simple replat that you've seen in this area, uh, the north side of the city, um, just combining um, what is two lots into one. So just removing an interior uh, property line and creating one uh, single reserve. So uh, the recommendations are included uh, in the revised report that Otis mentioned earlier. Um, there's nothing major or substantial um, that needs to be corrected, uh, minor conditions that need to be uh, placed on the plat, and some information that needs to be provided, but it's, um, it's, it's pretty standardized. Uh, staff does recommend conditional approval. Any uh, discussion or questions for Jennifer? Motion, please. Make a motion. Yeah. We've got oh, a, oh, I'm place. sorry. It is a public hearing. All right. Somebody want to close the public hearing, please. Make a motion. Does anybody want to? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, does anybody in the audience, in the public, uh, have any comments on this item? Seeing none. Make a motion. To close the public hearing. Second. All in favor. Make a motion. We send this to City Council with. Approval. Make a motion to approve. That Arts sounds so much better than I said it. <laughs> All right, approve with the a little bit. Yeah. Exactly. A second. Uh, all in favor? <coughs> Opposed? All right. Item C, public hearing and consideration of a partial replat of Reserve D, Riverstone Place Shopping Center. Good evening. Um, so this is a replat of a uh, partial replat of Reserve D at the Riverstone Place Shopping Center. It's going to be breaking it up into D1 and Reserve D. Um, it's at the southwest corner of Highway 6 and Riverstone Boulevard. It's um, by the Life, uh, the LA Fitness over there. So. Um, we recommend that y'all should, um, the Planning and Zoning Commission should grant approval of this replat conditioned on addressing the deficiencies stated in this uh, staff report. Okay. Any, any questions from the Commission? Uh, anybody in the uh, public have any comment on this item? Make a motion to close the public hearing. Second. All in favor? Opposed? Any further discussion? No. Motion to approve. Well, I fumbled it last time, so you guys are going to have to come through. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make a motion to approve it and send it, on, send it on to City Council. Second. We don't send it to City Council, but it's, a, oh, it's just conditional approval. Conditional approval. I'll make a motion for conditional approval. Okay. Second. All, all in favor? <laughs> yeah. Opposed? We are off tonight. We are. Sorry about that. We I messed off. up because you repeated okay. almost exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. Moving on to item D, public hearing and consideration <coughs> of the repot of Laredo Holdings Creekmont Commercial Reserve B. All right, like you said, this is a replat of Laredo Holdings Commercial Reserve B. Um, they're breaking this up into three reserves, B1, B2, and B3. This is um, south of intersection of Highway 6 and east of South Creekmont. Y'all might recognize it. It's um, at the, right by the stripes on South Creekmont. Yeah. Um, we recommend that the Planning and Zoning Commission should grant approval of this replat conditioned on addressing the following de deficiencies um, named in the staff report. Again, they're just, in this case, subdividing? Yes. It's already been planted, right? So they just... Yeah, they're just cutting into more. three sections. Okay. Um, any questions from the commission? Any uh, input from the public? Make a motion to close the public hearing. Second. All in favor? Opposed? 
want to give it give it a shot? Sir, <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> so move we approve it, uh, grant approval with the conditions as suggested. Second. All in favor? Opposed? Motion passes. All right, thank you. Um, and just for clarification, I don't know if this is clear, but since those are replats, they're, they're not a part of the consent agenda because we have to have public hearings for them, right? Yes, sir. And they're okay. commercial. Mm -hmm. A couple, couple new members, I'm not sure if they were aware that that's the reason that those were listed in that section. So they don't go to city council. They're, they would have been on the consent agenda, except because it's a replat, there has to be a public hearing for it. Okay. Thank you. So right. just a little clarification there. <clears throat> Moving on, uh, there's no zoning uh, map amendments. Item 8, zoning text amendments. Item A, public hearing for amendments regarding enforcement rules, violations, and penalties. Good evening, commissioners. Um, this is a familiar um, topic. We're looking at our tiered fines as it relates to the ordinances, code of ordinances for section 22 regarding enforcement, um, fines, violations, and such. And this has to do, as you recall, with items dealing with our residential districts as it relates to accessory buildings, um, storage, parking, um, and also in our industrial and non-residential areas as it relates to outdoor storage, portable um, storage units, and what have you. And also the um, outdoor sales and placement of sales, storage of materials, and also equipment in our business parks and industrial district. Um, the focus of this change, as you recall, um, has gone through um, several hearings before the commission since January of this year. And I also wanted to point out that with the exception of trash screening, um, we're looking at a graduation of those fines for repeated viola violators. And this would carry a minimum of $50 for the first offense as it relates to the trash screening. Um, but for the other items that I mentioned um, in the proposed amendment, this would set a fine of violations to start off at $100 for the first offense, 250 thereon for the second, 500 for the third and subsequent um, offenses with the same for, the, for within a 12-month um, period. So you've been um, copied this on a number of meetings and you are familiar with this. Um, this is a public hearing. Um, of the final report, and uh, we are also asking that you recommend approval to council uh, for final action in which we will move this on. Any uh, questions from the commission? Yeah, all I saw this last month. Um, as this is a public hearing, is there anybody in the audience that wants to uh, speak on this particular uh, amendment? Can we close public hearing? Second. All in favor? Um, item two, consider approval of the final report to city council. Any other discussion? Any, uh, yeah, we this enough on yeah. Okay. Entertain a motion? Make a motion that we approve this. Forward to city As council with a positive recommendation. I Fumble. I did it again. <laughs> I second it. All those in favor? Thank you very much. Maybe my next 18 years, I'll get better at this. <laughs> then we need a script. <laughs> well, our fearless leader's not here, so. That's yeah. what it is. We need her here. Um, I think she heard us into the right direction. That's, uh, that was everything on the agenda. And we do have refreshments in celebration of fair housing. All right, meeting adjourned. Awesome. Partake. Thank you very much. Have a good